Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I'm gonna be altering a flannel shirt this morning and I wanted to share the process. Uh, one day I was in Goodwill and there was a flannel shirt hanging on the rack and I just stood there looking at it and it hit me that I could alter the sleeves right at the shoulder to make them kind of puffy to give it a feminine touch um, without really doing too much work. So I have the shirt. It has been washed to, you know, get rid of any, any germs or anything from the thrift store. And it's well worn. I like the colors. Um, I'm actually wearing another shirt that I altered like this. And I wanna see if I can improvise a little bit more on this one. The first thing I'm gonna do is try to make a cut right here so let me show you where this is oh actually i'm in the wrong place i'm glad i picked it up so the shoulder if you you have to get right at the top of the shoulder and that's usually where this seam is the seam runs across the shoulder and then you're in the center of the outer arm there and I'm really glad I picked that up. I had forgotten there was a seam across the back there. So what I wanna do is make a little cut in the fabric. Try not to get your fingers so that I can get my scissors through there. And I am going to cut straight down about five inches and I'm gonna do that in a straight line. Let's turn it the other way so that I won't be pointing the scissors toward myself. Okay, so I'm gonna go down to the bottom of that dark square. Okay, we've opened up a space to add some fabric. What I wanna do though is cut it away from here as well. I'm not gonna get rid of any fabric because I kinda of want it to be puffy. And I'm gonna come over about, about four inches this way, which is maybe the middle of these squares here. Again, there is no, there's no science to this. So I'm gonna come away about four inches there and then the same here, which is gonna be just right into that little gray square. If you have a fabric marker, you could mark your points. This fabric has a pattern that makes it a little bit easy, easier for me to just sort of eyeball things, as they say. So what this is gonna do, I'm gonna be able to gather this fabric and I wanna add fabric into here to contrast and be just be the feminine part of this so you definitely want to use a fabric that's a similar material and that has also been washed and we have these the stripe running across here I like that um, I like all of this actually I know that I'm gonna gather this up and it's gonna be sort of a it's gonna be a ragged sort of scrappy thing that's the way I like to do things and what we need then, we've got an area here that's going to be about, it's about six inches. I'm going to double it to really get some, like some puffiness. And so we want about six inches this way, and it's kind of going to be a semicircle. And we cut four inches. Let's add some fabric. so that we have enough to, you know, to make a seam. We want a seam allowance. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other side. And it's kind of, you know, this, that seam is really not exactly on the shoulder, I don't think. I don't know, or is it? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go with that spot. I mean, I thought about altering the other side, but let, let's just do this for the sake of getting it done. But actually, you know what I might do? 
since it feels to me like this is a little bit on the front, I may, uh, I'm gonna go back like another inch there. So let's make, let's make a hole in the fabric here. And get our scissors in. So let's cut down about five inches on this side, which again is, it's, it's a little bit past the bottom of that dark square. And then we're gonna go four inches over in the front. And then in the back, let's, we're gonna go ahead and add some, I think I added about an inch to the other side. So maybe all the way back. right here and again that leaves this fabric to to kind of gather up here and we're going to need a semicircle of fabric to go here so how i'm going to do that i want to cut two exactly the same and i am going to cut this uh i'm going to cut this off Let's get a little pencil. I think I have, I think I have a, we'll just use this. So what did I say? I need about six inches. Uh, let's do a little bit more than that. But let's see, five, six, seven. I'm just gonna mark right here. And then, I, one of my favorite things in school was spatial reasoning. So I, I think just looking at something and maybe getting the shape in your mind. So this is going to be Oh, you know what? I've been thinking totally wrong. I need to look at my gap size. That's So I don't want it to be like 12. I want it to be more like 8 or 9. I was measuring all the way across. So 4, 8, let's do 9 inches across and about, I'll stick with that, the 7 inches because I can cut that down if I need to. So let's go, let's get right in the middle of 9 inches which is like four and a half. Still think I might want it to be a little more full so let's do Let's do 10, and I'm right under my mark, so that's one inch, that's 10 inches. There's our marks right there, so I am going to kind of arch Just draw a triangle. This is this is really loose. You can see that. Those of you who sew, uh, so so we're just gonna do it. I'm not gonna do a sharp point. I want to leave a little bit. And I'm cutting through both layers. They're gonna be exactly the same. Again, it's very loose, it's scrappy, but this flannel shirt that I'm wearing, it has turned out to be one of my favorite things. I put it on all the time when I'm chilly. I wear it out. And so the next part, this is not gonna be really fancy either. The way we're gonna do our seams is just to make this stand out a little bit. So I'm gonna pull down my straight pins and I'm not gonna turn this inside out, okay? I don't, I don't want that look. I'm gonna do this like I did the first one, which I'm gonna make it stand out a little bit by laying these, you know, the wrong side together and just using the straight pins. Now, I wanna say again, if people end up here by searching, you know, for altered clothing, a lot of times 
there there is no pattern for altered clothing it's it's crafty it's imagination it's it's sort of just you know designing what you want things to be so try not to be annoyed that there's no exact patterns this is mostly about inspiration and diy so i don't know if you can see what i'm doing i'm not going to turn this to to hide the the stitching the stitching is going to show and it's going to be scrappy and that's what i want this is a choice that i'm making in as we're doing this and for right now i just want to get these this gathering pinned into place and there's not going to be any science about that either we're going to put this inside i'll show you exactly how i did the last one so this is going to go inside and kind of behind the other piece there i'm going to gather that up straight across and I'm just I'm gonna try to keep it centered I'm at least gonna do that because I don't want it to look really off I want the gathering or the puff or whatever to look even that pen is not working I also want a little bit of puff I'm gonna bring my hand up through the sleeve and then for here I do want a little bit of that fabric puffing out and I'm gonna come to the edge you know the edge of the fabric over here and we're gonna sew there's gonna be stitching on top we're gonna see the stitches in other words you know I could gather gather that up some as well and then let's go put one right across here So let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch across the top of here to put everything in place. It's gonna look really scrappy. I'm using black thread. Um, it's gonna help prevent fraying. And then I will do the same thing around here and I'm gonna be back. Okay, I'm just holding the camera and sitting here at the sewing machine to show you what I'm about to do. I've got the fabric pinned in and you can see we're going to sew on the outside, so I'm just going to lift this seam up. The fabric is tucked underneath around here, and I'm just going to sew right on top. So the first stitch will be going across here, and then I'm going to come back and do this. Uh, it, it is not anything complicated. It's kind of just looking at something and deciding how you want it to be. So I'll be back. All right, I'm back from the sewing machine and I wanted to just show you a few things about how this turned out. I have some strings to cut. You can see where some edges might fray and that's all right with me. The shirt I'm currently wearing started out with a similar look and I really haven't had to do it maybe just a couple of times. If you need to cut loose threads, you can, like that. Uh, but over time, I think it just wears kind of naturally and evenly. And I think it's going to be really cute. That's going to be on the shoulder. And then this is the other shoulder. I think they came out pretty even. There's no exact measurement. Again, the stitching is on the outside at the top. And then I just laid it under and fabric is laying underneath here. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. And then I will come back and trim up the loose edges. I definitely don't want to cut the actual shirt. If you're going to alter clothing, to me, one of the most fun parts about it is adding your personal touch. So I've got a beautiful piece of fabric to cover up the tag that was on the inside, and I stamped bird song in alcohol ink. I'm hoping that it will hold up at least through a few washes. Uh, if you're going if you want it to last forever, you need washable ink that you can put on fabric. Um, but even if the bird song 
you know, the stamp washes away, we've still got this really cool tag on the inside, and I repeated it on the outside. Uh, labels do sell clothes. That's, that's a fact. And when you have really fun, funky, unusual, boho sorts of tags on your clothing, it catches people's attention. For a while, I sold clothes that I had altered. A local store, they had kind of a, a it was a consignment shop, but then they had a higher end part of the store where they ordered boutique sort of clothing and they wanted altered clothing in there. So I made clothes to put in there and they did sell. And honestly, I had people asking for more but I kind of got away from that just because it does take time. And um, I, I sold some for a while and when I had my own store. And then, of course, you know, more of the money came back to me. I mostly love to do this for myself, like just making fun things to wear. And, uh, yeah, so if you're going to alter clothing, I would suggest just buying thrift store clothes and doing what feels right, what looks right. What do you see when you look at something that you could change? Can you see me okay? Overlook my morning, the messy hair. I haven't even really washed my face yet. But this is the shirt. It's a big man's shirt. So this is what I wanted. I did add lace over the pocket. I might put another button on top. There's a button hidden under there, but I don't use these flaps or the pockets, and I don't like the way they wrinkle up and kind of stand out. This is how the shoulders turned out. I really like that a lot. And then in the back, you can see the tag. So I think it's really cute. These are my jackets during, you know, chilly weather. You can tie, <laughs> wear it with a skirt. And I don't know, I just really like altering clothing. I do think I need to put something across here. Maybe a really cool button or something that I have out here. I'll get it figured out. But anyway, this is how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.